Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta and today we are going to talk about how to optimize hyperparameters in decision tree. So decision trees are non-parametric supervised learning methods used for classification and regression. The goal is to create a model that predicts the value of a target variable by learning a simple decision rules inferred from the data features. Now, what do I mean by optimizing the parameters? Basically, I'll be using an operator which is known as optimizing parameter through greed. This operator finds the optimal values for a set of parameters using a greed search and leads to a better results. This is a nested operator and it has a subprocesses. It executes its subprocess for a multiple number of times to find the optimal values for the specified parameters. Now, how we can do this in rapid minor? Let's see. First of all, we will go in the process area where I will load the data set, fruits and vegetables. I will connect this with the result window spline and I will run. The attributes which are, which are there in the data set are vitamin A, C, calcium, iron, magnesium, calories, potassium, protein, fiber. And there is a classification of fruit and vegetables. Now I want I am interested in that what are the criteria on the basis of which fruit and vegetables are classified. So what should be the values of these attributes? I again go in design and it is not necessary that in my data set all the attributes are matter of my interest and therefore I only want to work on particular attributes and therefore there is select attributes. I'll simply drag it and drop it in, in between. Now, I'll activate this operator. I'll go in subset, select the attributes. I'll transfer all of them. But I'll not include name in it because name is a string variable. Apply. Next thing which I'll do is set the rule. This is entry comes under the supervised learning techniques and therefore we will have to specify the target variable. So set the row, we'll drop it. Make sure classification is on because that is our target variable and the target role should be labeled. The next thing which we want to do is op we want to activate, uh, activate the optimizing parameter grid. Therefore, I'll go here, optimize. Now there are three types of optimizing parameters operator. One, greed, second, quadrating, third, evolutionary. Normally, greed and evolutionaries are used. So, I'll drop it here. Now, if any operator is having two layers, it means it is having sub-processes. Or it is a parent or a child process. So, first of all, connect this uh, performance with the result, model with the result, and parameters with the result. Now, double click on this and you will enter into the child processes. Here, first of all, you will have to activate sl split data and then drag it and drop it here. Next thing which you will have to do is activate the decision tree algorithm. Now you will activate apply the model. You will connect model to model and this line will be connected with unlabeled. Now you can see there are three uh, red warnings are there. It means that there are some specifications which are needed in previous op operator. Activate the split data, edit enumeration. It is demanding that you want to divide the data in what proportion. So I'll specify 0 0.7 is for training, 0 0.3 is for testing. So 70% goes for training, 30% goes for testing. Click OK. And you can see red warning signals have gone. 
Now I'll go in performance. So normally regression comes under the classification technique and therefore we will use the performance operator which is for classification. I'll drop it here. Now label will connect will be connected with the label. This line per will be connected with per performance with performance and the model will be connected with the model. Press the up arrow to come in the main process. Now you will go and optimize parameters grid and change the edit parameters setting. First of all, activate this decision tree and you will get the list of parameters which you want to be included for optimizing. So transfer this criteria here and again you will see list of parameters. So normally we work on information gain and gain index in this tree. So I'll remove this. I also remove this and this. The next thing which I want to include is maximum depth. So you can see here, the operator will work on 22 combinations. One more, I want to include minimum lift size also. Now it will run on 242 combinations to find out the optimal hyperparameters. I'll click OK. Then I'll press the play button. You can see here, 242 combinations have been generated and its accuracy has been also been generated. The iteration, the decision tree criterion, the decision tree maximal depth, the decision tree minimal leaf size. And this is a combination which is generated. Now we are interested in where the accuracy, classification accuracy becomes or rather maximizes. So this thing you can readily find out from here. Just click on parameter set, optimize parameters grid. It will specify that the maximal depth is 39 of your decision entry and the minimum depth size is one. Your classification accuracy reaches to 90%. So it gives you the output directly. Moreover, another condition is this entry criterion is equal to the information grid which is being considered and it is also giving me where my hyper, which hyper, the, what should be the value of the hyper parameter so that my classification accuracy increases. I can again go back in this design and I can disconnect this spline. Now I'll connect, I can store this hyper parameter. So store and tag. I'll connect this model with the input and this with the result. It will ask me where you want to save this parameters. So I'll go in processes and I'll just write down optimized parameters. Click OK. Now I'll run it again. And with the decision tree which is there, this has been saved here in processes, optimized parameters. Let me show you. Here it is. It is stored directly. Moreover, let us try to interpret the results also. The classification goes this way. That the first thing which should be asked is how much is a calorie? If the calorie is more than 44.5, it's very clear cut that it is a fruit. But if it is less than 44.5, next question which is to be asked is how much is the potassium contained in potassium content? If it is more than 248.5, it is a vegetable. If it is less than this, again ask the next question that is related to vitamin C, then vitamin A, and this is a class, this is your decision tree. You can change the layout also from here if you want. So the optimized parameters, you will get it from here. The performance factor, how much the accuracy we have got in the classification, you will get it from here. Optimize uh, what are 242 different combinations which are there, you will get it from here. And the relative accuracy also you will get from here. For more videos on rapid miner, 
kindly subscribe to my channel you can follow me on linkedin and twitter kindly see my playlist which i have already uploaded many videos of rapid minder please don't forget to press the like button